Вечер в хату, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna do Rain Ripple Effect. Recently, I looked through the tutorials about this topic, but unfortunately, haven't found the good parametric ripple effect tutorial. So, let's jump right into the Cinema 3D and do our own Rain Ripple Effect. Let's start from creating a new plane object, and because of the small scene, let's rise the segments quite a lot. If you have a performance issues, you can lower that numbers, and in the very end, you can put this object in the subdivision surface. Select this plane effect, press C to make it editable, then select any points, go to Select tab, and choose Set Vertex Weight. Set it to zero, press Shift C and look for a meter object. Rotate this emitter object 90 degrees the way the Z axis is pointing downwards, then go to the top view and make the size larger, almost the size of the plane object. Put it a little bit up for you have more space to see. Go to settings, set both burst rates to 150, then set stop emission frame as you like, I set 40. Click on vertex weight tag and turn on the fills. Find the freeze effect and delete it for now. Then drag the emitter area into the fields window and choose the particle object. If you play it with the text selected, you'll see this now. Please just tell me what's happening. Duplicate this emitter object and rename it to emitter sub. Go back to the vertex weight tag and drag this one in a fields window above previous one, choosing particle object of course. Set it on subtract mode. If you play it now, nothing is happening. <laughs> That's because both emitters have the same radius, so we need to change radius on the top one to 15. Now if we're gonna play it, we'll see this. Now add a curve effect and adjust it a bit. The final look must be like a torus with a really thin border. When it's done, you need to add freeze effect. Set mode to grow, radius to 3, and effect strength to 120. Set the mode to max. If we will play it now, we'll see this effect. Add another freeze effect. Set the mode to subtract. Animation to grow, radius to 1.8, and the effect strength to 70%. If we'll run the animation now, we'll see this effect. So now it starts to look like a ripple. <laughs> really? Set the bottom freeze opacity to 80% to make round waves more obvious. Now add the clamp effect and set its mode to screen. If we'll play it now, we'll see this infinite waves effect. To get rid of it, we need to set opacity to 75%. Now if we'll play it, we'll see the great ripple effect. Last thing we need to add is a curve effect to enhance the look of it. Play with the curves to get more obvious round waves look. In the final, it must look like this. Now we need to make it work. First of all, we need to add displacer effect to our plane. In displacer settings, you need to go to the fills tab and drag our vertex fade in it. Then go to the shading, click on arrow, and you need to choose color, make sure it's pure white color. If you run the animation, you'll see that it works now, but the effect is too large. To fix it, go to object and set the high to 0.5. Then we need to add another deformer called smooth. Here we need to change strength and stiffness to 50%. Now if you'll play the animation, you'll see obvious ripple effect. <laughs> Finally! So now you can use it in any render. I will set it up in Octane Render, try it and render it out. Here is the final result. You always can do it different way. Add more particles, spread it, make a larger or smaller ripple effect, whatever you want. I hope you like it, enjoy it, learn something new. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and ring the bell to not miss even more cool stuff that are coming. Check my art station market when you can find a lot of cool stuff like realistic rain shader pack, modular corn and many more. And don't forget about my patron. Be my patron and help me do even better tutorials for you. So be my patron, you can find the link below. And don't forget that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine that is very important now. So stand with Ukraine. Virtov zasu, tavse bude Ukraina.